You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amata. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. I knew it was strange when Aragaki Senpai told me he'd be late. But I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. That's right. It's not your fault. If there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So, from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. This is how it should be. Huh. Senpai. <sighs> Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Wait, Luka, where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. Maybe not. But we have to try! Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. But where do we even look? <laughs> you of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels. And we can't protect him forever. Akihiko! It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. Accepting a request? You must... By all means. Marvelous. I will await a rep... I've been waiting for you. 
So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. Presenting my offering. Though I normally do not reside in this world, I wonder if I too may receive divine grace. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be? Just as I thought, these are paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Excuse me, I've been curious ever since we arrived, but what is that equipment over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see, in the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case, Fascinating. In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Now, could you please instruct me in the proper use of the jungle gem over here? can't get out. Oh dear, it's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. The day was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To be honest, lately I've been wondering, do I find this world enjoyable? simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents. Or another possibility. Perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do, I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity and go in tandem? Ooh. Here are my rec wonderful. to think of it. Very well then.
this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. You look half dead. What are you doing out here? When Mom died protecting me, no one believed the truth. To this day, they say she died in an accident that didn't even happen. That's why I wanted to clear the record. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died in some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And now, I'm going to be left behind. Just like always. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. But you still have your life. <sighs> I'm not here to bring you back. You can waste away here if that's what you want. But, if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. I know that. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I needed something to hate. To keep myself going. I couldn't face the thought of being alone, but that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. <laughs> All right. I'm not running away. I'm not running away anymore. I swear it. Aragaki-san, we'll see this through to the end. I'll be okay now. It's already been a day. Yes. It has. So, where's Sonata-san? He said to leave Amada-kun alone, but... Maybe we should look for him. What do you think? So you agree with Akihiko, then? I can't just sit here! I'm going right now to... <laughs> Amonikun! <sighs> oh, thank goodness! I was so worried! You were? Amato, will you continue to fight? Yes. I'm done running away. That okay with you? Positive. It's all right. We can trust him. Please, don't scare us like that, okay? All right. I'll go and talk to the chairman. You should get some rest. Okay.
It's pretty chilly tonight. Can you believe it's already autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. You look a little tired. Did something happen? Oh, you did? In this world, people die every day. Until recently, I thought that was as normal as the changing of the seasons. But now, I understand why people mourn. For the first time, I have a friend. Lately, I've been remembering things more clearly. You recall the end I've spoken of? Some were calling it the fall as well. It's drawing closer each night. Can't you feel it? You and I are like kindred spirits. So, I wonder why I'm the only one who remembers. This is tearing me up. Could it be that you can't accept me for who I am? I'm sorry if I wasn't making any sense today. Maybe it's the change of season, but we're still friends. That will never change. Well, I'll be going for now. Good night. Sorry, but I don't think I can make it today. I just feel bad since I'm the one who wanted to hang out. But actually, my mom fainted. I'm at the hospital right now. They said it's exhaustion. Since she works from morning till night. Damn it! It's all my fault. And my mom, she's trying to leave. She says we can't afford the medical bills. God damn it! Why can't I do anything? 
I'm useless. Just another one of her problems. I'm sorry about all that. I... I don't want to be a problem for you, too. But I'm glad you were the one to hear me out. Talking about this kind of helped. Marvelous. I'm looking for. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Of course. Oh, my. Then, let us be off. It's you. Welcome. Good morning.
That's all for today. Thanks for coming all the way here for this. Glad to hear that. I wanted someplace quiet to talk. I just came from the hospital. After this, I have to pick my sister up from preschool, go shopping, cook dinner, do laundry. There's still so much I have to do. It sure is. But I can handle it. My mom had to do all this every single day. <sighs> Remember how I told you I had a chance to win that scholarship? Turns out I can't practice anymore. I just don't have the time for it. Besides, even with the scholarship, we still can't afford college. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have enough to survive. We already lost dad, and now mom can't work. It's up to me to earn a living. <sighs> I have no choice but to give up track. Why'd you have to die, Dad? I wish I could have taken you on one last time. I just wanted to run one more time. One last run at some big event. Just... one more time. Is this really how it ends for me? You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I'm gonna compete. Even if it's my last time, I wanna win. I've dedicated most of my life to track and field. It's time to put everything I've learned to the ultimate test. I'm glad we could talk. Everything feels a lot clearer now. Because of you, I have something to aim for. Thanks, man. Oh, crap. My sister's probably waiting for me. See ya. wouldn't have been able to concentrate on my own. Yeah, it hasn't been very long. Thanks for inviting me. I think this will be a big help for me, too. We've got to keep going. It's the only thing we can do. and Sonata-senpai have been trying to move on, too. Um, 
I don't mean to be a busybody, but if there's anything you need help with, please let me know. I am the one who suggested this study session, after all. Fuka, you don't need to worry about a thing, okay? Sorry, it's just... I always admired things like this. You know, everyone meeting up to study together. I always thought it would be nice to stop by a restaurant on our way home and help each other out. <laughs> I can make that wish come true. Let's see, what should you help me with first? No worries. If it's health and gym class, I've got your back. You can do that on your own time. I'm glad I came to the storm. Even after a terrible tragedy, you guys helped me remember how to smile. I'm glad you came here too, Fuka. Oh, right. Could you help me with this part? Sure. Hmm. This one's difficult. Let's see. It's a toughie, isn't it? But yeah, more heads are better than one for sure. <sighs> I was in the zone. I guess that really did help me take my mind off of things. Mm -hmm. It's nice to know that we're not alone. Just keep giving it her all. It's the least we can do to take some weight off our senpais. Okay, I think it's about time we call it a night. Thanks for the help, guys. Good night.
I see you're back. enough. Um, Senpai, is it alright if I rest a bit? Um, I, I wanted to apologize for causing so much trouble. Uh, making everyone worry about me. I lost something very precious. But in exchange, I gained something just as important. That's why I think I'll be alright on my own now. Thank you for bringing me along today. There you are. Guess it's about time. Huh? Looks like Koromaru's got something. Wonder what this is. I'm curious where it came from, but it's getting late. We should head back. All right. This time, I'm not gonna lose. Let's go, Koromaru. writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Oh, is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So, this is depressing for others. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know? trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. Yeah. 
I have detected a gaze upon us for an estimated seven minutes now. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to watch. Was I bothering you? Thanks. I was just curious what it's like to study for an exam. Um, is it all right if I study with you? If it isn't too much trouble, I mean. My data states that elementary school does not feature regular examinations. Is this information inaccurate? No, you're right. We don't really have tests that we need to study a whole week in advance for. Sorry, um, if you're not okay with it, I can just... Oh, thank you! I'll go get my workbooks now! Next question. What is the term used to describe the property of having zero electrical resistance? Oh, I know! Superconductivity! Correct, Amada-san. Yeah, that's it! The Featherman Technique! It's so cool! I mean, that's what I heard from a friend, anyway. Huh? Oh, sorry, Koromaru. I guess I was being a little loud. Let's get back to studying. It appears that Amada-san has entered a state of non-REM sleep. He is in a deep slumber. Sleeping here may cause his body temperature to decline sharply, risking illness. Shall we wake him? Understood. I wonder what kind of dreams Amada-san will have. Let's transport him carefully to prevent waking. I will accompany you on the way to his room. a request? A shame. I shall be waiting then. Very well then. Well, look, the prices are a bit lower today. Take a look, if you have the chance. Is that what you want? Take your time. What do you got? You gotta tell no. Finished? Come back soon.
I decided to hold this study session for us to concentrate on the upcoming exams. Amada, I invited you to join us so you can focus on your own studies. Your presence is welcome here. Thank you for inviting me. I'll make sure not to be a bother to everyone. To the rest of you, I want you to set a proper example and take your studies seriously. <laughs> Are you going to study with us, Korochan? Good boy. Koromaru-san says that he will accompany us here as we study. Well, aren't you a little hard worker? Unlike Junpei over there who can't stop yawning. <sighs> I can't really deny it. Wouldn't mind being in his place right about now. Dogs never have to study for exams like this. Man, what a life. <laughs> have an obligation to study, but he has another important mission. True. He's been protecting that shrine this whole time. That sounds like something far more difficult. Guess if you want to be a dog, you'd better develop some diligence, like Koromaru here. Being a dog is harder than it seems. You'd be better off just studying, Junpei-san. Oh, stop! Don't look at me like some pitiful creature! All right, that's enough chit-chat. Let's concentrate on our studies. All right, I think we can begin wrapping things up. Good work, everyone. And Iori, after all the dog talk, I do hope you were able to get through the material you needed to cover. Uh... Woof? Oh, I see. So you're still learning, then? As a dog, I'll need to give you strict behavioral training. Yeah, I'm kidding! It was a joke! I'm totally cool being human. No training needed! I'm good! That will conclude the group study session. It is time for a much-deserved rest.
Excuse me. collection. Uh, please still be there. Come on. Wait. Machini, they said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. All right, the money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... Senpai? Y yes I think so too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh, th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I, I couldn't stand up to them, but I... I didn't take anything. Y yes, you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai! What should I do? I... I'm sorry. I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. My thumb's getting a little greener every day, don't you think? For an amateur vegetable patch, it's really coming along. All that back-breaking work was worth it. Listen, you hear that? That's the sound of our precious little veggies cheering us on. Right? They're kind of growing on me. And this might actually be my calling. Maybe I should just ride this wave and start a farm or something. It's really cool how well they respond if you take care of them right. It's one of those times where you see the fruits of your labor after lots of slow, steady work. I never followed through on anything, and even I pulled it off. That counts for something, right? <laughs> I thought I was the one raising them. Maybe they were raising me all along. Wait, did real, actual wisdom just come out of me? Holy crap, I grew up more than I thought. We owe a lot to our nutritious little veggie babies. Ah, who am I kidding? Our veggie mentors. Well, whatever we do in life, we can't expect to hit a home run on the first swing. We gotta stay on our toes and wait for the perfect chance to strike. And when that time comes, you knock it out of the park. That's how the real sluggers do it. A valuable lesson straight from our vegetable teachers. Don't go forgetting it, you hear?
Maybe I'm finally figuring this whole life thing out, huh? You know, I think I'll write a book. I could call it something like Life's a Vegetable Garden, the Junpei Yuri story. Selling books and vegetables? Ooh, we're gonna be rolling in dough. Man, am I a genius or what? All right, enough dreaming. Let's get a little bit more work done. Woo, we did a heck of a job. See you later, my darling veggies. I'll be back again when I'm free. Well, let's call it a night. Hit me up again when you have some time. Give me a minute, so I can calm down. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. for today, but I hope to see you again.
and it becomes this. Meeting is cancelled. Um, did Odagiri san do something? A teacher came by earlier and called him to the faculty office. That teacher seemed really upset. Don't be so stubborn. All you have to do is write his name on the list. He was appointed to the student council by the president herself. He's a responsible person. That's why I didn't add him to the suspect list. You know there are witnesses who've seen him wandering the streets late at night, don't you? I thought you hated students who don't follow the rules. It's not that I doubt the witness reports. It's more that I trust him. So I'm not adding him to the list. Odagiri. I really thought you were smarter than this. You can go ahead and forget about our deal. If you'll excuse me, then. So, you heard all that. I know, you don't have to convince me. That teacher suspects you of all people. How he ever got certified is a mystery to me. Don't worry. Even if the whole school turns on me, I'll have your back. I'll have your back. You're starting to rub off on me. See you later. Thank <laughs> you. 